as you can see from my title, <laughs> I am having these messed up dreams about Eminem and it's been going on since I was like 15, 15 or 14 or something like that. But it keeps happening and they're so fibbit, like fib, fibbit, fibbit. See, I can't even speak, like, um, obviously coming off drugs, it's hard to, hard to, like, get your words right a lot, but anyway, um, <laughs> these dreams, right, I had one at 15, and then I had one in my early 20s, or late teens, and then in my late 20s, and then last night, I had a dream of um like and they're all pretty much the same they're like me and Eminem is like walking in Balamina well back whenever the dreams first started I was living in Balamina so uh, we were like walking around Balamina near um the spinning mill area and he had a flat near it <laughs> and we got totally wasted, wiped out on drugs and nobody knew he was there. Nobody knew that it was him that I was walking around with because I had a disguise on him and all. These dreams are like so flipping real. Like I wake up crying and then I'm always down that day and the day I am like so down I was a mini going to hospital a day. I'm not going to hospital a day because I am so fucking not in the headspace for hospital. I'm just down. Um, but like my second dream, I was living in Port Rush or Collybecky or something. I think it was Collybecky. And <laughs> Like, it was the exact same thing. We had our own place. We got wasted. And we were like, oh, lovey dovey. You know the way you are with a boyfriend. But this is like, so real. Like, I always wake up crying. And I, I don't know what to do or what, what do these dreams even mean? I don't know, like, do they mean something? Only after doing my makeup. <laughs> I look horrible. But yeah, like, these dreams keep occurring. Like, I've had four, four, not three, four in my lifetime. Started whenever I was like 14 or 15. And then, still going on in my 30th, my 30, I'm 30, like, I can't even talk. <laughs> And this morning I woke up and I was just bawling my eyes out. I was like crying, like I didn't want to get out of bed and I heard Green scratching at the door to get out for his morning shit. And I'm just like, why do I keep having these dreams of my baby Eminem? Like Marshall Bruce Matters the third, like, He's my baby and I don't know. They just, last night we were actually in a hotel room and I don't know what the fuck what was happening, but like I know he's been sober, sober for 11 years. And, but last night we were in a hotel room, we were wasted, we were cuddling, we were being a couple, like all that couple crazy lovey dovey stuff which I can't be in real life. Like, I just don't have that, like, cuddly thing about me now. I'm just like, I've like no feelings about me, but whenever it comes to him and him, I'm like, oh shit, like, you know. Um, so I don't know, if any of you know anything about occurring dreams that happen, like, they're so fucking real. Uh, like, I, I wake up, depressed and crying because it isn't real once I wake up <laughs> but yeah um 
I don't know what to say. Do you just know anything about occurring dreams? Like, I know my psychic abilities are something to do with that too. Um, I just know I'm like, still recovering from taking drugs and I've only recently been able to open my third eye and like obviously um, the drugs block your third eye so um, I wasn't in tune with a lot of my psychic stuff um, for most of my life because I was on drugs from the age of 14 but um, I've opened up my third eye and like since opening up my third eye it's just you know I can see things a lot clearer I'm, I'm like I feel people's vibrations around me I freak out a while a lot more um because of people's vibrations I, I like I have to what once once I'm there you know like I don't know what like maybe if there's anybody watching out there, what does occurring dreams mean? Like, I'm mad about Eminem. Like, this tattoo here. This tattoo here. MBM, October 17th, 1972. Marshall Bruce Matters. That's how mad I am about my baby, Eminem. So, yeah, call me nuts, call me crazy, call me whatever. But I know I'm just a crazy Eminem fan. But I have relationship dreams with him. That's what I'm just wanting to call it. Um, yeah, so thumbs up, thumbs down. I uh, can't use that thumb, I just know, so... Thumbs up, thumbs down if you like it. I don't know, help me out in the comments. What does it mean? Or am I just like a, a what do you call it, one of them crazy fans? Yeah, because like, I've seen Eminem live in Banger. In Banger. So um, I think, I think, you know, it's just that crazy, crazy fan thing that, I just always, <laughs> I always wish that I could cuddle into Eminem. I'm just like, I can't put my time into a real relationship because I am that mad about Eminem. So yeah, call me crazy, call me whatever you want. I don't care anymore. But peace and love. So comment below. Does anybody have these dreams? about Eminem. Can anybody help me stop them or am I just am I just like the crazy ass fan? I don't know. But anyway I must go and make a cup of tea because I'm dying for a cup of tea. I'm feeling so fucking down today. I don't know what to do but I'm gonna maybe do another video today with Green. Gonna be reacting to dogs barking with green maybe so yeah um peace what you giving that's how we live it don't be mad at the system it's simply how we've existed I